the ADI instructional model is built around seven stages. In this video, we'll talk about the fifth stage we call share. As part of the share stage, students are going to create an argument, share it with their peers, critique each other's work, and then revise the argument using the feedback they get from their peers. In order to create the argument, students will use a format that looks something like this. Students will write down the guiding question for the investigation, create a claim or their answer to that question, give evidence, including an analysis of the data that they collected and their interpretation of that analysis, and then in the justification, they'll explain why that evidence matters. The board for math looks very similar. The only difference is that in math, students are also asked to put the symbols, formulas, and variables they were using. Once the boards are created, students will set them up around the classroom and have one or two students stay at the board to present while the other group members rotate around to see what other teams have come up with for their argument. As they rotate, students write down ways that they can improve their argument based on things that they see on other students' boards or feedback that they're given when someone comes to their board. Once the gallery walk is finished, students come back and are given some time to fix up their own board and make any changes before we go on to the next stage. Some teacher behaviors to help support students in this stage include helping them get better in between investigations using roles or other classroom management tools to make sure that everyone's thinking is represented. Another thing that's really helpful is being clear about the organization of that argumentation session, how long you want each rotation to be, what kinds of things you want students to do in each stage. The focus during that argumentation session should really be about students talking to each other, not the teacher walking up and asking questions. Do make sure that you give students time to go back and revise that argument and the last thing is that this is a great time for you to walk around, listen in on conversations, and do some informal formative assessment about where student misconceptions are and what different students understand. If you have any questions or comments about this stage, we'd love for you to get in touch with us at howdy at argumentdriveninquiry.com or check us out on our website.